Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to drive the brand new Rocket Bunny Fair Lady ZZ33. I'll show you the shift pattern for a stage five tune. And if you happen to have all the stage six parts and maxed it out, it drives differently. I'll show you that too. First, if you'd like to help support me and my channel, I spend a lot of time making these videos, gathering up information. I mean, I probably spend an hour a day just doing this stuff. Plus, I probably spend another one to three hours per day, sometimes more answering people's questions. All right. I'm here to help you guys out. So please help me like and subscribe. Scroll down to the very bottom of this video's description. And I got a PayPal link if you would like to make a donation. Two bucks, five bucks, ten bucks, twenty bucks, a hundred bucks, a million bucks. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Anything helps. All right. I make very little money, so I would definitely appreciate the help. Um, we're gonna I'm gonna show you exactly how to drive this on stage five first. We'll do a couple test runs. This car does beat Dino Time by about a tenth of a second if you get a good run. And this car is actually really really easy to drive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let go of the gas a little bit after number one to get a perfect start. We're gonna do an early shift into second gear. We're gonna do a good shift into third, and then we're going to hit our nitrous on either third gear or fourth gear. Both seem to work out really well, so try both and see which one works best for you. And then all good shifts after that. So we'll do a couple test runs on this, and then I'll show you guys exactly how to drive this on stage 6. I guess this thing's running at 10.0 something if you have it completely maxed out, which I don't. Right now mine is stage 5 only with all of the fusion parts installed. I don't have any stage 6 parts currently installed on this car. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth and nitrous, fifth, and sixth. And like I said, try nitrous on third and try nitrous on fourth, or maybe even somewhere in between. Now, once I get to the stage six shift pattern, it's kind of weird because you don't hit nitrous till, there we got an 11.792. That's a really, really good time on this car with a dyno time of 11.901, so that beat dyno by a pretty nice amount. All right, so let's go do another test run, and then we'll I'll show you how you're gonna drive this if your car is maxed out at stage six. All right, it's very different, but similar. So here's another stage five test run, okay? Three, two, one, go, second, Third and nitrous, fourth, fifth, sixth. And so far, the best time I've hit is when I've hit nitrous on fourth gear. Third gear usually works really well too. That time I didn't get a perfect start, so that's gonna slow me down a little bit. But usually I run something like an 11.8-ish, right around 11.8, 11.78, 11. 11.82. Usually I'm in that ballpark every single time. All right, so now let's just say you have all of the stage six or most of the stage six. You're probably going to want to try this shift pattern instead. I'm not sure at what point it switches over from the one I just showed you to the one it does now, but if you can continue to upgrade this past stage five, eventually you're going to need to use this shift pattern instead. So what you're going to do is try and get a perfect start and when you do that, the RPMs are actually going to kick back to around 4,000 RPMs. All right. I'm going to simulate that. Just pretend I'm not actually going to get a perfect start, but let's pretend I am. We're going to simulate the kickback on this run. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. So, so basically you get the perfect start with the kickback. Perfect or good shift in the second. Perfect or good shift in the third. Now, right before you shift in the fourth, you're going to hit your nitrous. Good shift in the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, whatever. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's go ahead and try and do a test run. Again, you want a perfect start. I'm only simulating. I'm doing the late start to simulate the kickback. All right. 3, 2, 1, go. I totally messed this up, guys. I totally messed this up. All right, let's try that again. As you guys can see, I'm not perfect, and I mess things up all the time. Okay, so, three, two, one, let go. Second, third, nitrous, fourth, 
fifth, sixth. Okay, it's only got six gears. So that's the way you're going to drive this car if it's a lot more heavily upgraded. So try if you got a lot of stage six parts or a couple stage six parts, try both of these shift patterns and see which one runs best for you. Of course, that runs much slower for me because I don't have the stage six parts installed. Now, let's go look at exactly how I tuned this car. This is just going to be a quick rundown of how I tuned it. All right, if you need to if you need to know a good tune for a car, you got to tune the car yourself. Just changing a couple parts can drastically change your tune, so you can't copy other people's tunes. If you need to see my exact tuning method and how I figured out which parts to change first and tune first and all that, get on my tuning playlist. I have a great video on how to tune your cars for a awesome general tune that's good for almost everything. All right. So what I did first is I tuned my tires. Now at stage five, no matter what, once you get up to stage five with all of the fusions, even if you start adding stage six, you're going to bring your tires down to eight PSI. All right, so first bring your tires down to eight PSI. Go over to your final drive. Slowly move this over until you watch these points get as high as possible. As soon as they start going down, you went too far, so go back. Get those, get your evil points as high as possible by moving the slider to the left. Now move your nitrous slider, pull it over to the right until these evil points get as high as possible. So you're going to want to tune your tires first, your final drive second, and your nitrous last on this car. Again, if you need to see how I figured all this out, go watch my video on my tuning playlist. This is just a real quick telling you how to tune what the what parts to tune and what order first okay because people always ask about the tunes i don't share my exact tunes don't don't copy this unless you have a, all the stage five parts installed and you have every single fusion slot even if you have like one stage six part on here this tune is not going to work for you you're going to have to tune the card differently you can only copy my exact tune if you have all of the stage five parts installed and all of the fusions all right once you start adding stage six parts or if you're missing from some fusions your car is going to require a different tune to have the best possible tune for your car so anyways if you need to learn how to tune it check out my other video and i think this pretty much wraps this one up all right i will catch you guys later again please like and subscribe check out that paypal link if you feel like donating to help support me and my channel that would be very cool I don't care, two, three bucks, whatever you got, anything helps. If you don't want to donate, that's fine too, but please press subscribe because I do spend loads of time trying to help you guys out. That's why I'm here. I made this channel to help people learn about this game. You know, if you got questions, feel free to ask. I try and get back to everybody. <clears throat> we had a big power outage for the last several days, so if I miss some of your comments or questions during that time, I'm sorry. I've been trying to go back through and find every comment. Hopefully I got them all. YouTube sucks at comment notifications, but as far as I can tell, I got to everybody. I wouldn't be surprised if I missed some, though. But anyways, I try very hard to get back to everybody and help you guys out. So, catch you guys later. See ya.